Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Gabriel Bonfim versus Ange Losa. As we know, Gabriel Bonfim is coming back after his first professional loss against Nicholas Dalby in a fight where he looked decent in the first round and just completely gassed. It's one of those things where you see upcoming fighters sometimes uh, who have a lot of first round finishes like Gabriel Bonfim. If, if I remember that correctly, they were talking about it. Eight first round subs. I mean, that's that's quite a bit, you know. Uh, never been to a decision, so that's, you know, only having, what is that, two finishes in the third, uh, four in the second. So a lot of finishes, nine first-round finishes out of 15 fights. Never been to a decision. Sometimes you will see those types of things happen where they run out of card or they have bad cardio. Uh, our cardio is a reason for them to losing. And I do really think that it was a cardio failure management of uh, of um, his gas tank in that fight against Nicholas Dalby, who's having a lot of success against him in that first round. And with some some pushback from Dalby, because we know how tough Nicholas Dalby is. Fighting Angelosa, we know with the no contest against Brian Battle. I did pick Losa in that fight to beat Brian Battle. And, you know, for me, the reason why I had picked him was simply because of the fact that Angelosa is, is a good fighter. You know, he's, he's durable. He's, although hittable, he never shies away from um, getting into a war, into a brawl. And AJ Fletcher was able to catch and hurt Brian Battle. Um, there's just a couple of these things where I thought if Angelosa could play this fight correctly, he could do a lot of good things. And Brian Battle just fought better on that night. Now, I see a lot of people saying that Losa tried to quit that fight. Sure, maybe, maybe he, he found a way out. But the reason why he found a way out, the reason why he was able to get, make, create a no contest was because Brian Battle stuck his fingers in his eyeballs. So instead of trying to finish Losa or finishing him or decisively beating him, he puts his fingers out. And poked him in his eye. Whether it was on purpose or on accident, he still poked him in his eyeball, and that's what stopped. That's what led the fight to be stopped. Now, if Losa was able to continue, and Brighton Battle ended up beating him, and Losa came out and said, "Yeah, he I, he beat me because he poked he his fingers poked me in the eye." Okay, fine, but you lost the fight you were losing before you got poked. Sure, you could say that in the same instance, but again, it is no now a no no. It is now a no contest. So, for me in this matchup is ba Bamfim is more athletic. He's more flashy of a striker. I think Losa has better takedowns, but Gabriel Bamfim has some really, really nice submissions. Like I said, 12 out of 15 wins are by submission. Eight of them in the first round as we had as we had looked. I'm not for sure if I actually had it up. So see, eight first round finishes, one TK he only has three TT three TKO wins, one of the first, uh, one of the second, one of the third. I said lost to Nicholas Dalby in that second. Almost at the end of the second round, just really looked bad in that second round. Really looked bad. Forced Trevin Childs to shoot on him, got a guillotine. Manir Laziz literally crowded him until he was uncomfortable and shot in on a takedown guy. Uh, finished, beat Trey Waters as we had just seen him fight just this little while ago. Not that long ago, it's Billy Goff, I think his name is. His name was. But again, against Angelosa, who's 10 and 3, he has a more experience in the UFC, 2 1 0 oh, 1 in the UFC. Two decisions, but Reese McKee was a really, really good fight. Uh, he beat the crap out of Reese McKee. Beat the crap out of him. It is not of, of a lack of trying that Losa wasn't able to get him out of there. He threw everything but the kitchen sink at him. And then beat AJ Fletcher in a decent fight. Fletcher ran out of gas in the back half of that fight, but looked pretty good in moments as well. Losa. Lost the decision to Manir Laziz. Laziz, again, long, lanky, like Bonfim. Beat John Howard, which is interest me, interesting, honestly, because a lot of experience. Not the guy that he used to be, about 41 years old now. Uh, back then, 39. So, lost to Jack Della Mandalena back in the Contender Series. But had a good moment in there. Showed how durable he is. Showed that he's not afraid to uh, exchange in the pocket. You know, fighting the guy like Gabriel Bonfim, who is better than Manir Laziz could take a lot away from that matchup with Angelosa and Manir Laziz. You know, he's 6'1 with a 72 and a half inch reach. You look at it, uh, one and a half inch reach advantage for Angelosa, but 
He's also, what is that, two inches tall, three inches taller? Oh, two, be six foot, yeah, three inches taller than uh, than uh, Angelosa. So, one and a half inch reach. I think Losa is a better boxer, but I think Bonfim is more well rounded. Even though Losa is not like, you know, he has five, he's six finishes out of his 10 wins, five finishes in the first round. I don't think this is a first round finish unless it's by Gabriel Bonfim submission wise. I, decision is is weird for me because you know uh, Alosa hasn't been finished, so it's hard for me to say that this fight is going to be a finish. Simply because Losa, we've seen how durable he is. Unless he gets caught with his, some with a guillotine, that patent guillotine, which I just I just do not think that he gets submitted in this matchup. I don't really think he gets finished in this matchup. Um, I, I, I really, really think Gabriel Bonfim wins. I'm a little worried about his cardio, but I actually have Bonfim playing it a little bit more safe, using his tools that he has, and getting a decision win. I don't see him finishing Losa. Jack Della couldn't do it. You know, uh, Brian Battle maybe was on his way to do it, but didn't, you know. Again, Gabriel Bonfim, I have him by decision, as you see right here. And uh, as always, guys, smack that like button, share the content, let me know what you guys are thinking. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.